Hello everybody, uh, today we're here to talk about gun safes, how to choose the best gun safe for yourself, your needs, and your circumstance. Uh, it's nice to see that my fellow gun owners want to do the intelligent thing and get themselves a gun safe. Uh, gun sales are on the rise, which means that gun owner responsibility has to increase also. So let's take a quick look uh, at the reasons as to why we should get ourselves a gun safe. Reason number one, and I feel like uh, this just might be our best reason out of all reasons. Uh, reason number one, we don't want our children or unauthorized personnel or individuals to get access to our guns, which may result in injury or tragedy. Um, I love my guns, but I love my kids even more. And I hope everyone listening to this feels the same way. Uh, you know, kids are kids. They're going to get into stuff. Uh, the curiosity is going to peak, especially when we're not there. And we need that peace of mind to know that things are going to be okay, even when we're not there. Uh, we can let our kids be kids and do what kids do without <clears throat> harm coming to themselves or anyone else. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's our number one reason to have a gun safe. And I hope uh, everyone listening to this feels the same way. Reason number two. In 28 states, gun owners are held legally liable if their firearms are accessed by children and accidental shootings occur. Now, at the time of this recording, this was the stat. Uh, things may change uh, depending upon who comes into office or <clears throat> whatever changes take place politically. But right now, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at, folks. I mean, it seems like our country has moved into a position where we as gun owners are you know, legally being pushed into more and more responsibility. Now, if that changes, that changes, but that's the way it is right now. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a legal reason behind... Uh, not allowing our <clears throat> guns to fall into the uh, hands of, uh, of our children. Uh, so that's something to think about. Reason number three, gun safes are the best way to protect your guns from theft or burglary. Uh, it's been estimated that a burglary or robbery, home robbery, takes place every 8 to 15 minutes in this country. That's quite a bit, folks. Uh, that's quite a bit and guns can be seen as an item of value whether that person wants to take your guns for their own personal use or to be sold on the street uh, guns can be seen as a valuable item now the four main types of gun safes we're going to discuss will be our single handgun or pistol safes our small multi-gun safes our mid-level gun safes and our large long gun and rifle and shotgun safes uh, that really comprises the sizes of safes, what their capacity levels are, and uh, what, what their uses are going to be in terms of, of space and size and, and amounts of guns that can be stored. So uh, let's, let's dig into that real quick. First up is going to be our single handgun or pistol safe. Now this is your smallest of all. It's small, it's compact, and it's extremely transient and transportable. So for all you people out there who like to travel, you're here, you're there, you're catching a plane, you're catching a bus, you're catching a taxi cab, uh, whatever the case may be, and you still want to protect yourself, this is going to be your best bet. I mean, this bad boy can go just about wherever you go. Um, you know, size-wise, we're probably looking at about 3 inches in height, about 12 inches in width, and probably about 10 inches in length. Now, that's going to differ from manufacturer to manufacturer, uh, and it's also going to differ from uh, make to make and from model to model. Um, but that's what we're looking at on average. Another thing I'd like to speak about is what's going to take place inside of this little bad boy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. See that foam there? That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> One thing you need to look for inside of that small pistol uh, gun safe there is foam. Foam to protect your gun. If this thing's going to be carried around and moved around and and taken here and taken there with you, you don't want your gun to bounce around so much. Uh, if it does, you want it to be protected. So you protect it with that foam you see there. I mean, that's a very good example of, uh, you know, a, a gun safe, small pistol safe that's lined with protective foam to not get your pretty little gun <laughs> scratched up. That is a pretty little gun. Uh, anyway, yeah, that, that, that's, that's a good example right there. What we continue to see here is the small and compact nature of these small safes. Uh, you know, you get your gun in there. You can also fit normally one magazine in there, 
but they're so small and you can take them just about anywhere. I mean, you can, you can keep this in your drawer. You can keep this in your pillowcase uh, for all you ladies out there who have big purses. You can keep them in your big old purse. Uh, for all you fat people out there watching, you could probably keep this in between a couple of your fat rolls. I mean, <laughs> this thing, this thing is great. It's awesome. It really, it really is great. Um, for all you guys out there who like wearing big coats or big trench coats, you can probably keep it in your trench coat pocket. I mean, this thing is, it's awesome. You know, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to hit it with another awesome. Bam! Awesome. It's been quadrupled. Okay. Uh, let's move on here very quickly. Now, here's another example. You know, this is, this might be a little bigger uh, than the other versions we've seen. And, you know, what I'm going to point out here is, is that there's no foam here. And I really don't like that. You know, you get a little down here, but there's none up here. Uh, that's not something I would get into. And that's something I would avoid, actually. Um, also, if you look at the lock here, I'm going to talk about this later, but I'm not into the combination lock. I'm not into trying to get into my safe you know, using these small numbers, using these small numbers. Um, you know, I've always said that a safe is not really worth it unless you can get into it in the dark. You know, if you have an emergency at two o'clock in the morning, you need to get into your safe. <laughs> you don't want to, you know, mess around with these small numbers and try and figure these things out at two o'clock in the morning when you stumble around in your sleep and you need to get your weapon and it's, and it's dark. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's one thing I wouldn't really mess with, but it's up to every individual to decide for him or herself uh, what they really want. You know, here's another example. I think this is a, a much better example. Again, we see the foam here up top and we see the foam here, foam here, foam here. You see the gun, you see the magazine. That's a very nice example of, of, a, of a small pistol safe as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, everything seems to be taken care of. I'm not sure the, the point of entry here, you know, exactly, uh, you know, the, the manner of entry, but I, I can see that the foam's inside and that's that's a good deal. We're, we're now protecting our guns and and keeping everything from bouncing around there and, and sliding around. And here's another example. Uh, you can see that we have the foam here. We have the foam at the bottom. Uh, what you'll see here, the means of access is our our, uh, our uh, finger pad means. You know, you can see that right there. You got your one, two, three, four. If you like to see it that way, uh, you have your uh, manual key override. So that's that's a that's a nice looking setup there. You know, I, that's something I would definitely approve of right there. Uh, now, so we've seen a few examples of, uh, you know, single handgun or pistol safes. I think you've gotten a good idea of what to expect, what to look for, their capacity, their size. You can get your gun in there. You can get your magazine if needed. Um, so let's move on and start talking about our small multi-gun safes. Our next level of gun safes are the small multi-gun safes. Now here, we're able to get two handguns inside if there's a bottom and top compartment. Also, you can fit these in smaller spaces such as inside your closet, beside your bed, uh, under your bedside table, etc. Uh, these also tend to be mountable. Uh, these are small, so you know, you can basically just grab these and pick them up and run away with them. Uh, we don't want anybody to run away with them. We want to keep them where they are. Uh, now we're getting into being able to mount them and sort of nail them down a bit. A bit. Uh, you know, any any gun safe can be removed with enough time and with enough persistence. But what we want to provide is some sort of resistance. You know, so these tend to be mountable. Uh, and you can also add smaller items of value inside. We can now get, you know, maybe a watch or something or anything else that we see that's valuable, something that's small. So let's uh, let's get into that a little bit. Okay, here we have a basic example of a small multi-gun safe. Now, what are we noticing here? We are noticing that separator. That's going to give us our different level. We're going to give our it's going to give us our, our bottom level. And it's going to give us our top level. We now have two compartments here. Uh, you can see the weapon at the bottom here. You can add another weapon there up top if you'd like, or another item of value. Uh, you can see up top that you have your manual key override. But what we're seeing here is that other level. Now, if you notice, you see foam at the bottom, but you don't really see foam up here. And that's because, you know, you're expected to sort of keep this where it's going to be. So this is not going to move around a bit. You're going to keep this where it is. So, you know, you might not need a whole lot of foam there. Uh, maybe a little bit, you know, but this is not going to move around a lot. Um, you know, but you do have your different levels. 
here is another nice example. Um, you can see that there's a weapon up top here. There's another weapon at the bottom here. You know, you got your separator, you got your two compartments. Uh, this is clearly a finger pad safe. You can see up top there. But now we're starting to see, you know, how things are changing. Uh, we're starting to see that, you know, you're getting more space, more room, and another level. A uh, nice example there. Here's an example of a gun safe being used not just for guns, but also for other valuables. You can see a watch there. You can see other items there. Um, you know, and, and this becomes another feature as safes become bigger and larger, is that you can increase the amount of items you can add inside. It's no longer just a sort of a gun safe anymore. I mean, primarily that's what it's going to be used for. But, you know, there are other uses here when you get into, you know, larger, larger safes that are going to increase in size. Here is a real smooth example. That's a nice looking safe right there. You have your weapon, you have your knife, there's another weapon up top, you know. And what do we see here? What do we see here, guys and gals? What we see is a light, you know. You see a light underneath there. There's another added feature. You know, if you're going to open this thing at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and it's dark in your home, you know, that light's going to give you a little bit of clarity. It's going to clear things up a little bit. You know, it's going to illuminate things a bit. And, you know, that's a good feature to have, I think. You know, very good feature. You can see up top you have your finger pad. And what you have here that you maybe haven't seen earlier is the biometric addition. Now, this is a combo. Uh, there's your space for your finger print. And there's, you know, your remaining uh, finger pads. And that's something we'll get into later. But that's a nice example, folks. A nice example. We're getting into more features, uh, getting in a little more space. A uh, very nice example. Moving on, here is another fine example. Uh, you can see your two compartments there, your top, your top here, and your bottom there. You can see your weapon, you can see your magazine, there's a passport, there's a watch there, Craig. You know, I, who's, who's gun safe? Is this? I, I think this is James Bond's gun safe, guys. I think this is, <laughs> this has to be 007's gun safe. You gotta, you got about $20,000 in bills there. I mean, this is, what is that? That's a King Tut bracelet or something like that. Man, this guy's a, a total playboy right here. Woo! All right. You know, it's a, <laughs> that's a very important man right there, ladies and gentlemen. And, and he's taking care of his stuff. You know, very fine example. Uh, you can see your manual key override. You can see your finger pad up top. Man, this guy's a baller and a shot caller. All right. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Next up is our mid-level gun safe. Now these safes are made to be a bit stronger and sturdier because they are more noticeable and out in the open. Uh, they have more space and more compartments to store other valuable items. Let's take a look at those very quickly. Now as you can see here, the material is a bit stronger, a bit heavier, more heavy duty. Uh, again, these, these safes are stronger and sturdier. You know, their strength is not being inconspicuous. Their strength is basically strength being sturdy, uh, being a bit more tougher to get into, uh, being a bit harder to move. As you can see here, you have other items in here. It's, it's no longer just a primary gun safe. You have a camera, you have other valuable items here. Um, you can see the uh, keypad entry uh, up front there. Uh, these safes are getting a little bigger and a little tougher and a little stronger, uh, as, you, as you can notice. As we continue to see uh, these safes are being made bigger and stronger. Uh, what you'll notice here is the fire safe feature there. Now, fire safe is a very controversial topic. It's a very controversial phrase, and we'll talk about that later. But right now, we're going to focus on, uh, you know, what makes these uh, mid-level safes a bit different, and what makes them different is their sturdiness, is their strength. You know, you can see the materials getting tougher, stronger, uh, a little thicker, a little heavier. And, and, we'll, and we'll keep going here, but we're going to talk about that, that fire safe feature there a little later. Here is another example of a mid-level gun safe. Uh, now what you see here that you maybe didn't see with the earlier models is, look at there, we have three compartments. We have a top, we have a mid, and we have a bottom. Uh, so now we're increasing in size a bit more. Um, we're also increasing in <laughs> uh, toughness too. There's a top bolt there. There's a bottom bolt there. You got a bolt there. Uh, that's a three bolt sort of door. Uh, that's going to be a little tougher to pry open. 
but you know again what we're noticing is these such these safes are getting tougher to get into and they're sturdier and they're stronger and you know their features are increasing in terms of their sturdiness and their strength here is another example uh, this is a stack on brand as you can see uh, you can see that you have three levels there you have your top your mid and your bottom uh, there's binoculars there there's a camera there you know it's it's now forming into sort of a a personal safe now it's not just a gun safe now you can see more items can uh, be added there uh, you know uh, get solid material there uh, and that and that's really the strength of your mid-level safes it's their sturdiness it's their strength they're tougher to get into and uh, you know if that's what you're looking for then then you know you need to focus more on the mid-level gun safe if you plan to add more personal items and and you know looking for something that's going to be sort of out in the open and you don't care that's that it's out in the open uh, because you know that the strength and sturdiness is going to sort of be there uh, on some level up next are the large rifle and long gun safes now we're getting into the big boys here we're now getting into the safes that are made for rifles for shotguns uh, for long guns etc uh, there's so much room that they are great for someone who intends to increase his or her gun collection. Uh, they are also very strong and very sturdy, uh, almost impossible to steal because of their size and their weight. So let's talk a little bit about these these big boys. Now this is normally what a large gun safe looks like on the outside. You know, it looks bigger, looks tougher. You can see that you're starting to get like a you know your long guns inside. You know, it almost looks like something Harry Houdini would try and get out of a few years back. You know, but you can see that that it's getting bigger, stronger, gigantic door here, a little tougher material. That's that's generally what they, they look like on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside, though. Now, here's a nice inside look. What we'll see here, obviously, is a place for the rifles and shotguns. And we can look up top and see that there's a nice top compartment for whatever you like there. You have shelves on the side, uh, you know, you have compartments here, and if you look on the inside of the door, you'll see pockets. Pockets for handguns, pockets for ammunition, you know, just about anything that's relative to guns, <laughs> you know, you can you can fit in here. You know, any, any gun accessories, you can basically fit in here. Um, what you'll also notice if you look closely are the locking bolts. You can see two bolts up top, two on the bottom. And you have five on the side. You're not going to pry this door open anytime soon. Now, a lot of <clears throat> gun enthusiasts have said that you know these safes look tough, but they can be you know they can be compromised. You know they can sort of be breached. And I'm going to talk about that briefly in a few moments. But I just want to want everybody to take a look at what you can get inside here. Uh, you know, some of these safes can actually uh, handle 51 guns, including, you know, the compartments on the side. But, you know, if you want to increase your gun collection and you want to can if you want to have accessories also, I mean, this is this is your best bet. I mean, these 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 guys are huge. These guys are real big. But uh, let's let's keep going here. Now, here's another example. It's basically your same setup. You have your rifles, shotguns here. You have your shelves, you know, top compartment for additional guns. Uh, you have your pockets. Now, going back to what I said earlier, is that some in, some gun enthusiasts will say that these safes look tough, but they can be breached. Now, I've seen such videos, but it, it literally takes 30, 40 minutes, <laughs> and it takes special tools to, you know, cut through these doors on the side. Um, you know, if someone breaks into your house and they want to get inside a safe like this, I can almost guarantee you they don't have 30 40 minutes and I can almost guarantee you they're not carrying special tools they want to be in and they want to be out you know what I mean so these safes do have their you know they have their purpose and they have their space and they have their need um, you know um, I think these these safes are really resistant to theft again any safe can be compromised if given enough time and if enough effort is put into them uh, put into you know getting inside of them but I'm saying these things do have their purpose and they have their place guys you know um, let's take another look now here is another example uh, 
you know, we're consistent with the same setup here. You have your uh, <clears throat> space for your long guns, long guns. You have your space for your ammunition. You have your pockets on the side. In this particular model, uh, long guns can actually be strapped inside of your pockets there. Uh, so it's basically the same setup, you know, very heavy, very sturdy. Uh, place for your rifles, you know, uh, place for ammunition, pockets inside. Uh, you know, it really comes down to what you all are looking for. You know, <clears throat> if you're going to collect guns, if you're going to collect long guns, this is your best bet. Uh, if you're going to collect uh, smaller guns, you know, your mid-level safes are your best bet. And if you are more concerned about your, you know, your your single pistol or single handgun, then look into the small safe. But, you know, uh, what we're getting to understand is that <clears throat> just about whatever you need in the way of um, gun storage, gun protection, uh, gun collection, you know, you can find it here. There's there's just there's a gun safe for just about any 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 need, really. Uh, so let's uh, let's keep going here. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, the term fireproof or fire safe was very controversial. It's very, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of discussion about that term. So let's try and clear that up right now. Uh, there's no such thing as a fireproof safe. Let's get that out of the way right now. No such thing as a fireproof safe. There are only fire resistant safe. Any safe <clears throat> whether it's been said to be fire resistant or fireproof or fire whatever any safe can be consumed after prolonged exposure to fire ultimately it's going to get in no such thing as a fireproof safe now fire resistant safes are a whole different ball game fire resistant safes gun safes can withstand temperatures of up to 2000 degrees for four hours that's true actually and they come in different grades and different classes. Even at such external temperatures, the internal temperature can remain below 350 degrees. That is true too. Now, why is the magic number 350? Why, why is that a magic number? We're going to talk about that real quick. Now, these are the different classes at which the internal temperature of a safe will remain at 350 degrees or less. Now your class A, as you can clearly see, 2000 degrees with four hours of exposure to fire. Class B, 1850 degrees, two hours exposure to fire. Class C, 1700 degrees, one hour exposure. Class D, with certain specifications, we won't get into that, uh, 1700 degrees, one hour of fire. Class E, 1550 degrees, 30 minutes of fire. Now again, this is these are the classes at which the internal temperature of a safe will remain at 350 degrees or less. Now let's talk about that 350 degrees real quick. Now why is that number so important? That is important because of this. Paper or money will start to char at about 387 degrees. You know what I mean? Steel starts to melt at about 1370 degrees. Silver will begin to melt at about 1761 degrees. Copper will begin to melt at about 1983 degrees. So if you have money in your safe, it's got to stay, the internal temperature has to stay at 350 degrees or less, or you're going to lose it. So there is a need for fire resistant safes. If you're going to have valuable items like money or valuable coins or valuable documents, you got to keep that internal temperature at 350 degrees or less so you know that fire resistant gun safe is important again it comes down to what you're going to keep in your safe are you just going to keep guns in there or are you going to keep other documents in there uh, you know it depends on what you're going to do and what you're going to use your safe for but this chart kind of breaks it down for you it kind of gives you the importance of you know what's going to sort of perish and at what certain degrees they'll perish you know depending on what you have in there or, or what else you want to put in there but hopefully this will give you a better idea of uh, why you know fire resistant safes are important uh, let's keep going there now if you're going to have a gun safe it has to be accessed by you 
How do we make that happen? There are basically three methods that I'll talk about. I won't get into the others that I don't think are so important. But right now I'm going to talk about the three top methods that I think are important. Uh, you have your keypad gun safe, you have your finger pad gun safe, and you have your biometric gun safe. So let's, uh, let's deal with that a little bit. Now with your keypad gun safes, a numeric code is required for access. I mean, you have to punch in a certain numeric code to access your safe. As you can see for yourself, there are numbers here, almost like a cell phone, almost like anything else we've seen, you know, throughout technology. Uh, personally, I'm not into this. <laughs> and again, the reason why I'm not into this is because, again, I feel like any gun safe you get has to be able to be accessed in the dark has to be able to be accessed at night um, you know if an intruder enters your home at two or three o'clock in the morning it's dark you know you feel like you have to do something to protect yourself and your family you go to your safe I don't think you want to mess around trying to figure out <laughs> where the numbers are you know uh, I've said that time and time again um, you know this is uh, cumbersome at that particular time, a stressful uh, time, you know. Uh, I feel like your access to a safe should be based on a routine. It should be based on whether you can see certain numbers or not. Uh, but again, that's my point of view. Uh, let, let's keep going there. Here is another example of a keypad gun safe. Again, you have to enter uh, numerals to access your safe. And I think, again, this is going to be too much to deal with, you know, in a high stress situation like someone breaking into your house at three, uh, three or four o'clock in the morning. You know, I really don't think you want to mess with this. I wouldn't want to mess with this. You know, I want something a lot easier and a lot quicker. Uh, I don't want to fumble and stumble and mess around with this stuff. But again, it's up to each person what that person wants. Now, with finger pad safes, finger pad gun safes, there are no numbers. They rely on a personal sequence passcode, which will be entered for access. And that's one that you can create yourself generally. You can make that up yourself, uh, depending on what you want. Also, normally, the internal computer will generally block access after repeated attempts, which is a good thing. Now, with your finger pad gun safes, they really rely on a sequence. And that's what I like about them. You know, uh, anything that cuts down on any work you'll have to do to access your weapon is a good thing. I don't want to look at numbers. You know, recalling a sequence, it's much quicker and much easier and much faster. And that's one of the things I like about finger pad gun safes. I mean, you have your uh, first finger, second, third, and fourth. And when it comes to opening these bad boys, it basically comes down to a routine. I mean, it's basically, you know, four, three, one, one. One, one, two, three, three, one, two, four. I mean, it's really that quick, you know. In some models, it's four digits, and other models, it's six digits. Uh, depends on the make and manufacturer, but you can literally go, you know, four, three, four, three, uh, you know, one, two, one, two, uh, you know, three, one, two, three. I mean, that's awesome technology. It's quick and it's fast and it works, you know. Uh, this is this is why I really. I'm a favorite of finger pad gun safes rather than the numeric uh, fashion of gun safes. Uh, here's another example of a finger pad gun safe. Uh, you know, finger pad gun safes really, you know, are prevalent in your smaller safes, your multi safes. You know, uh, you know, you see them there a lot. Again, you have your your two guns here, and you have your finger pad up there. You know, four, four, one, two two three two four you know one two one three i mean it really is that easy and it pops open very quick very fast and again it works you know it's so much easier to rely on a routine or a habit than to rely on memory you know something that you have to recall you know so much of what we do in life is a routine it's a habit it's a you know you can drive to the store and almost not remember <laughs> the trip because it's such a habit it's such a routine for you, you know. Accessing your weapon should be the same way. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I'm a big uh, advocate of um, burglary drills, where you you practice your 
finger pad routine to the point where it becomes a, a habit. You don't even have to think about it. And that's what we're after. The quicker, the better. The faster, the better. And that's why I like finger pad gun safes. Now it's time to talk about biometric gun safes. Now these are the latest in technology. Uh, they literally provide the quickest access of all gun safes. Biometric gun safes can actually record and memorize your fingerprint. Some models come with a fingerprint and a finger pad entry and serve as a combo unit. Uh, some models can store numerous fingerprints. Uh, certain models will still accept entry even if your finger is dirty. Uh, you know, we're now moving further and further and further into the future with biometric gun safes. So let's talk about that a little bit. Biometric gun safes are the easiest to access of all gun safes. With a simple swipe of your finger, you can have access to your weapon. As we see here with this example, it's a combo unit. You have your finger pad as well as your biometric finger space. And the method of access basically is the same as the finger pad by itself. Uh, it's basically four, three, four finger. You know, it's a two, three, two finger. You know, two, four, two finger. I mean, it really is that easy, but you're adding the finger with a combo unit. Uh, that's the way the combo units work. Uh, with some combo units, you can still just use the finger by itself. But if you want to add that extra, you know, finger pad sort of complexity to it, to anyone who wants to <laughs> enter who you don't want to enter, you can throw that in there too. Um, let's keep going. Now here's an example of a multi, a small multi gun safe with the finger pad and the biometric. You can see that space there for the biometric. You can see the finger pad there and you can see, you know, the weapons inside as well as the light. I mean, uh, you know, the, it, this contains so much right here. You know, you have your ease of access. You know, you have the light to help you see as you enter. It's a, it's a multi sort of two level uh, you know, small safe that's made by Gunvolt, uh, by the way, for those who are interested. This is another unit. Uh, it's a combo unit. You have your finger pad right there. You have your biometric entry right there. This is by Sentry. Sentry is a well-known brand, and it's one of the most uh, famous <laughs> single-hand gun safes the Sentry unit is. Uh, again, you can use the finger pad with the biometric space or you can just use the finger by itself if you want uh, whatever you choose but using the fingerprint by itself is going to be your quickest of all means of access but again it depends on what you would like as uh, the owner now thankfully the biometric means of access is not specific to the small units as you can see here uh, there's a rifle safe with the biometric fingerprint means of access there so you know it's simply not specific to smaller units uh, there are rifle units that can have this access as well which is a good thing uh, the broader the better here we have a very famous make and model this is the gun vault as you can see it's almost in a holster sort of form it's been sort of crafted that way uh, it fits well under tables and closets completely biometric as you can see the fingerprint space you know when this releases it almost releases in a holster fashion for quicker access this is a very very popular brand and you'll see this a lot in pictures and photos wherever but uh, I've heard a lot of great things about this particular this particular make and model and brand uh, very quick uh, you know very efficient you know uh, make and model and form and means of access there All right, everybody, now that we have a general understanding of gun safes, the question is, where do we go to get our gun safe? Um, I'm not a big fan of going to a department store to get a gun safe. Any place that sells pickles, shoestrings, shampoo, area rugs, lunch boxes, nail clippers, toothpaste, you know, I think their gun safe collection is going to be a bit slim. Uh, not too many options there. If you want a good gun safe, 
I think it's best to go to a place that specializes in gun safes. Uh, the best place that I've seen online is a place called gunsafereviews.evandevereaux.com. This place is awesome. Uh, there's over 100 gun safes listed, many different categories. They specialize in gun safes. I mean, that's what they do. Great reputation. No complaints about the place. Uh, I've been there. I've checked out their website. Many, 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 many safes to, to take a look at with lots of great safe reviews on top of that. Uh, you know, and, and instead of just telling you about it, why don't we just uh, take a stroll over there real quick? Let's do that. How about that? Alrighty, here we are at Best Gun Safes for Sale, the number one place to find the best gun safes online. I mean, if, as you can see, <laughs> you know, check out the website here. You can see different categories. If we scroll down, you can see biometrics, gun safes, biometric fingerprint drawer safes. I mean, tons of categories. Nice looking website. Let's check out some more categories there. Stack on gun safes, Winchester gun safes, bedside gun safes, biometric gun safes, of course, as we've talked about. Mirror gun safes, hidden gun cabinets. Fire resistant gun safes, not fireproof gun safes, fire resistant gun safes. There's also a, a category for concealed carry holsters and clothing. If you want to check that out, if you guys are into, into uh, concealed carry, you know, let's go a little further here. There's wall gun safes. You have wooden gun cabinets, underbed gun safes. I mean, just about anything you want here in the way of gun safes is available. Uh, let's take a look at some of their, uh, let's, let's take a look at something we haven't checked out. Let's take a look at some uh, wood gun cabinets. Let's take a look at this category here. You got some slanted base gun cabinets, curio gun cabinets, you know, a lot of stuff here, guys. I mean, just about anything you want is here. Uh, subscription to gun magazines, if you're into that, on the side. You know, take a look at some hidden gun cabinets there. You got some hidden gun cabinets. They actually have a, <laughs> a, a a wall gun vent there. You can create a fake vent in your house and stick your <laughs> stick your guns in your vent. That's pretty cool. You know, a lot of stuff here, guys. I mean, you should you should check it out. But clearly. You know, clearly get your gun safe from a place that is reputable and that has a good reputation. And this this place has one. Uh, you know, I've been here a few times, never had a problem. You can see your biometric safes here. You know, different makes, different models. You know, depends on what you want, depends on what you what you're looking for. But give this place a try, folks. I mean, I really, I really think you'll like it. Um, Alrighty, let's 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 get to the home page here. Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it folks. Uh, I hope now everyone has enough information to make a more educated and edified decision when it comes to choosing which gun safe is right for you. Uh, depending upon your circumstance and depending on what your needs are, I think you can now make a much better choice for yourself um, don't forget there's a link at the bottom of the video uh, for the website gunsafereviews.evandevereaux.com it's an awesome website with over 100 gun safes listed uh, never had a problem with the site great reputation it's a-okay um, there's also another link for the Facebook page uh, you can follow us on Facebook if you like uh, there's stuff there that you can't see on the website uh, stuff relative to home security information, concealed carry information, uh, Second Amendment info, uh, if you want to check that out. There is also another link for a free ebook. Uh, it's titled Home Security, Keeping Your Family Safe. It's a 41-page ebook with tips and advice on what you can do to make your home more resistant to burglaries and uh, break-ins. Uh, there are so many things that the average homeowner overlooks. Uh, and that's why so many homes get broken into. Again, I think it's a, a fact that uh, a home is broken into every 8 to 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a heck of a lot. Um, 
but it's a direct representation of homeowners not safeguarding their homes against criminal entry. Uh, it's sad. Uh, too many homeowners think that deadbolt locks and, and windows with latches on them will be enough. But that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, that line of home defense can easily be uh, surmounted by the average criminal. Uh, and the numbers prove it. Uh, smart people like us know that we have to go beyond the pale and take the necessary measures uh, to make our homes more resistant and more challenging and really more threatening to any criminal that wants to enter. Uh, you know, we have to make burglars think twice about trying to get into our homes. Um, you know, that that's really our first line of defense. Using our weapon should be second. You know what I mean? Actually, um, I don't want to be a victim, and I hope you guys and gals don't want to be victims either. Uh, we have to take certain measures to prevent ourselves from becoming victims, and that's why, yeah, you know, you need to check this ebook out. It's absolutely free. It's uh, 41 pages, you know, filled with proven tips and advice to help deter burglars and make uh, your home more resistant to break-ins. Uh, you know, some homes actually stick out like a sore thumb to criminals, and that's why they get broken into. This ebook is meant to keep your home from sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, so uh, I think that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up, folks. Get your ebook. It's absolutely free. Get your, check out the link at the bottom. Uh, you know, check out the link for the uh, gun safe's uh, place online. And it's been it's been nice, folks. You know, I laughed. I cried. It was an experience. And I will see you all at the next video. Until then, uh, God bless and get your free ebook.